How to create a digital story using Windows Movie Maker. The first thing you need to do is open Windows Movie Maker. You should see it when you click Start All Programs. You should be greeted with a screen like this. If there are clips in the workspace, it just means that somebody else has used the program and it's nothing to worry about. Next, import pictures. This can be done by clicking the third blue option on the left hand side under Capture Video. You need to navigate to the folder where your photos are saved, then click and drag over all the images that you require and click Import. Now you can drag and drop the images into the video part of the timeline. There is an option with audio, you can pre-record it with a program like Audacity which is a free download or you can record it in Windows Movie Maker. If you have pre-recorded, click Import Audio or Music, the fourth blue option on the left hand side under Capture Video. Navigate to where you have saved it and click Import. You need to drag and drop this into the audio music line of the timeline. The advantage of using Audacity to record your audio is that you have more freedom with editing and you can have several tracks. The disadvantage is that you have to remember to both save the file and also to export it as a WAV file. If you use Windows Movie Maker to record, you have one chance to get it right. Click the little microphone just above the timeline. The screen should look like this. Click Start Narration, narrate your video, then click Stop Narration. You are asked where you would like to save it and then it will import it for you. Now you are ready to add titles and credits. These can be found in Edit Movie on the left hand side. Click Make Titles or Credits, then choose Add Title at the beginning of the movie to type your title. You can change the background colour, text colour, font and animation here. Click Done, Add Title to Movie. Credits are done in the same way, just choose Credits at the end this time. It is now that you can change the duration of your clip so that the words being spoken match the images being shown. If you hover over the right hand side of the clip, a double headed red arrow will appear and you can drag the clip to either shorten or lengthen it. Spend some time on this stage, it would definitely be worthwhile. To save your digital story for further editing, Click File, Save Project As. Navigate to your folder, give it a title and click Save. It is advisable to save each digital story like this in case there's something that needs to be changed or added at a later date. And remember, save regularly. To save your digital story to view on another computer, click File, Save Movie File. Click Next. Enter a name for the file and, pl and a place to save it. Click Next. Best quality for playback on my computer is already selected and a good option, so click Next. Wait for the green bar to get to 100%. The time this takes is dependent on the size of the file. On the following screen you are given the option to view the comp completed movie file. This will open Windows Media Player. Click Finish and you have now created and saved a Windows Movie Maker digital story.